I'm going to go over Golden Ocean Group for a viewer that goes by the name of Vegan Ripple Effect. I'm going to show you the RSI and the MACD in just a moment, but first let's get to the numbers. It ended the day at $12.52, up basically 1%. The 52-week low, $6.62. The 52-week high, $13.09. Volume higher than normal with 4.3 million shares traded. We typically see 3.6 million shares traded. The market cap, $2.5 billion. It pays a nice dividend yield of 20%, but be careful. It can be a very volatile stock. Now, taking a look at the performance for the week, it is up nearly 3%. For the month, up 1%, and for the year, a whopping 86%. Under the technicals, it's considered a strong buy for the day. Under the analyst rating, it is considered a buy. And taking a look at the chart itself, we are right here at two standard deviations. This is three standard deviations, and this is four standard deviations. This is resistance, resistance, and another form of resistance. And when a stock tends to hit resistance, it pulls back a little because people are taking their profits and they're running. They are cashing out. So what happened when it hit resistance right here? It started to go down and now we're back at resistance again. So on tipranks.com, the average analyst forecast is $16.50. On the low side, it's $13. On the high side, it's $20. On Wall Street Zen, it's $12 across the board, and we've already passed the $12 mark. Again, we are at $12.52, but let's round up. Let's say you bought this at $13, uh, $13. If it goes, excuse me, if you bought it at $12.52 and it goes to $13, your return is 3.83%. If it goes to the next level, of $16.50. That is a return of 32%. And if it goes to the level after that, that is a return of 59%. Of course, we are not guaranteed it'll get to that level, or it could take a very long time to do so. But hopefully, we will get there one day. And of course, a stock doesn't go straight up. It's not like an escalator. It goes up, down, up, down, sideways. And then eventually, if tip ranks is correct, it will go to $20. Now, let's take a look at this chart here. And notice when we hit basically resistance, this is almost resistance right here, the stock falls down. We're close to this level right here. It fell down. And it went back up again, back down, back up, and then it fell down and then basically climbed its way right here. So if a stock is along this line, basically if it's up here, this is resistance, this is support. If the stock is down here and it hits this line, this is resistance. So we hit resistance, it couldn't break through, it fell down, went back up, could not get through again, hit all the way down here. And this is support. When a stock tends to hit support at this level, it bounces up. And in this case, it went down and then went sideways, went back down again. And then we are all the way right here at resistance again, right here. And then it cratered back down to support and then back up again to this level of two standard deviations. Now, let me show you the RSI. It is not overbought just yet. This is the zone where people typically start to cash out and we're not there yet. There's still plenty of room to the upside and definitely we are not oversold. That's where I typically like to pick up my shares down here. I'm comfortable at buying at 40 and below, but obviously if you can get it for less than that at 30, at 20, you are doing much better than I am. So. Let's take a look back in time here. Basically, it hit resistance up here, so at 70 and above. So what happened? This is the zone right here. It started to fall down. People started to take their profits. Maybe there was some bad news in between, so it kept it down there, but it started to bounce back up. And then going back in time, 
the next level of the stock being overbought at 70 and above was right here. So it coincides with this level. And what happens? The stock fell down, it hit support, and then bounced back up again. And then obviously the cycle repeats itself over here. And hopefully it will continue to go up. But that is, you know, taking a look forward in time. We don't know if that's going to happen here. Now, let me show you the stock on the daily time frame because it's very important to check out the different time frames because it gives you different buy and sell signals. We are right here to the upside on the daily is $14.19. To the downside is $11.37 and then down from there is $8.63, which I don't think we will get back to that level without going first all the way up and then cratering back down. So I don't think that's going to happen. Now let's take a look back in time. This again is resistance. The stock fell. It hit resistance. It fell. It hit resistance. It fell. And resistance again. And basically it almost hit resistance up here, but it hit 70, this zone between 70 and 80, and it started to fall down. So it's important to check out the RSI and the MACD as well. The RSI is churning up. It is not overbought just yet on the daily, so there's plenty of room to move to the upside, and the MACD is green and lit up, and it looks like it is going up as well. Let's take a look at this on the monthly time frame to show you the big picture. Let me get this out of the way. And basically, this area right here is resistance. This is, again, two standard deviations, three standard deviations, and four standard deviations. This is money, this is more money, and this is the jackpot. It hit the jackpot, and then it started cratering back here. Basically, in 05, when we're taking a look at the monthly, it shows the big picture here. When in doubt, zoom out, right? You've heard of that. This is resistance. It fell down, resistance here, and resistance there. Will the cycle repeat itself and go back up? Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Let's take a look at this on the three-minute time frame. If you are either day trading or figuring out an entry point or an exit point, VWAP is right here at 1261. To the downside is 1249. To the upside is 1274. And if you're playing the linear, to the upside is 1308. And to the downside, that is 1229. So those are some of your levels to watch out for tomorrow. Let's take a look at how the day ended. As you can see, a lot of red across the board. We gave up a lot of gains. Microsoft down, Apple down, Visa, JP Morgan, MasterCard, Bank of America, PayPal, NVIDIA, AMD, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Tesla, and Home Depot all in the red today. The energy sector, nice and green, as well as the utilities sector. Now, I just wanted to go over that for you quickly. If there is a stock that you want me to go over, please comment below. And to check out my other stock picks, take a look at my other videos. Have a great day and thank you for watching.